Hey guys. Welcome to Raymond's Man Cave. This is a portion of my man cave, my personal fishing department. The reason I'm here today is I want to show y'all something that I came across, some classic fishing poles, and I got them, and I'm trying to bring them back to life. The owner uh, passed away, and he had maybe 30, 40 poles. They were given to me, and I kind of cleaned them up a little bit, but I want to show you what I got. So, as you can see, I have a small collection of poles right here. Uh, some of them are my original poles, and some of them are classics. So, as you can see, these right here are pretty much the old poles. If you look at this one here, get a close look. This wood. See? I don't think they make these anymore. But they kind of got some wear on them, some wear and tear. And the dude was reserving them. The owner, as you can see, he tied string. Kind of broke the tip. He made it happen. That's what a real fisherman would do. I got this booger. You see? Pretty old. I don't know why I have a desire for collecting old poles. I like to see what I can do with them and see if there's any life left in them and clean them up, put them back on the water. But this was one of the poles. This pole had been sitting in the garage for over 10 years at his house. So I took it. I took this pole and I cleaned it up and brought it to life. And I'm actually gonna go use it today. That's why I'm making this video because I'm about to hit the water. So this is it. It's kind of soft here. It's a little war at the bottom, but that's fine. You got about maybe a little over a foot right there. And this, this reel actually came off of another pole but i took it and put it on here i opened it greased it cleaned it the best i can and what i like about it it has this like the green marble handle and it matches the line this is 80 pound braid i usually like to put this stuff on here but this is not big enough as you can see this is only 30, I need like 80. So, we got this and actually this part right here, I don't know exactly what it's called, but when you reel it, it goes from side to side and it uh, makes your line laying there even. It This came off of another reel. I added this on there. So it did not come with it. So I added this piece, which works perfect. And then here's the pole, if you wanna know the name of it. Okay, here's your pole. Now what I like about this, what caught my eye, is that this is, I believe, an ocean pole. Because if you look at the tip, you see how it's round? It has a, a roller in there. A V, a V groove roller in there. If you look right there, so it rolls. And I think this is for the ocean. It's about six foot tall. It's about right here. You probably can't see it. So I'm gonna take this out today and give it a test run. Oh yeah, before we go any further, you have to see this pole. I'm gonna lay it on the table so that you can see it closer. Now, I've never seen one like this either. Look, you probably like, man, that piece of trash. Yes, it definitely may look like a piece of trash, but if you look at the pole, 
itself, it's all metal. And it tapers all the way down. See? This fishing pole is an all metal fishing pole. That's what caught, caught my eye with this where I saw the left it behind, but it's not tall. It's about here to me. I've never seen an all metal fishing pole, but I own one now. So what I'm taking with me today, uh, I gotta have my net, so I'm gonna take my net, my cast net, of course my tackle bag. I'm gonna be taking a few lures, uh, a box with some random stuff. I gotta take my floaties, cause I, I don't know what I'm going for today. I'm feeling like gar, bass, I'm feeling like anything. Today is like a overall fishing day. I don't know what I want. I want a little bit of everything. So there's no telling what I'm gonna go out there and get today. So I'm gonna bring this booger, my bait caster. That's going for sure. That has 80 pound braid. That's for, I like to catch gars on there. So that's coming. I'll be taking this booger. Uh, Catfish pole, my Garcia, this boogers. I'll be taking uh, quite a few poles. I think I'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven poles today. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. I won't know until I get the water. All right, before we go any further, I must show you guys uh, what I'm working on. It's my project right now that I'm working on now so I haven't got a chance to do nothing with it but I just want to give y'all a, a little peek before I finish this so this is one of my classics that I'm going to really take my time putting together and when I'm finished this book is going to be ready It never ends. Oh, there we go. So, this pole, uh-oh, there we go, is massive. I know it looks small. As a matter of fact, I'm going to lay this pole next to it. That way you can kind of get an idea. And this pole is six foot. This pole I just laid next to it is six foot long. See? So that pole right there, that one is six foot long. And this one, little over 11 foot. This pole is massive. Remember I told you I like classics. This pole I got at a garage sale. I seen it from a distance, sticking way in the air. And you know I ran real quick. And I asked them, uh, is the pole for sale? And sure enough, she said yes. And she said it was her father's pole. And no, the lady was around her late 70s, so her father was had to be much older. So this pole has been in the game for a while. But I asked her was she selling it. She said sure enough she was, she had to get rid of it. And she's been taking really good care of it. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this pole. It is ready for the water. All I need is a reel and I might get some additional things for it because I want it to be my number one pole. What makes it special to me is that the owner, this must have been one of his favorites because he has his name in the pole. That's upside down, well. Anyway, he had it custom made with his name custom in the pole. So, when I seen that, I wanted it automatically. 
because I know if someone put their name in their poll, it's something special to them. And for them to be gone, I'm going to put it to good use. So, that is, it is something to come. So, look forward to it. So, today, I will be taking, oh yeah, by the way, Texas Bass Holes, first place winners. My boy Alex and Josh won that at the tournament. So, I'm going to, I may be needing this booger, see? Yeah, I got a couple of these, so I'll probably grab some of them. Because I plan on catching the big, big fish. So I think that's all for today. That's all I'm going to need on my wall. I'm running low with hooks. I got empty spots. So I got to load up on my hooks again. Got a few reels. Yeah, I got little, little gadgets and stuff everywhere. Rope. You know, stuff I don't even use, which I need to put it to use. So, we're gonna be rolling out here. All right. Big boy. <laughs> Dang. No, no, no. Hey, you did your thing, man.
Dang, that's all you, bro. Hey. Yo, yeah, man, he had her hanging with TBT. I called him a guard. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Get it, get it. Ah. I'm recording already.